Chaser Talk Radio. We're just getting started. He's drinking that with no chaser. Hey, this is Straight No Chaser Talk Radio. We're just getting started. We're Talk Radio. He's drinking that with no chaser. This is Straight No Chaser Talk Radio. We're just getting started. This is Straight No Chaser Talk Radio. He's drinking that with no How you doing, folks? How you doing? I was talking and I was all muted. See, I'm just as crazy. This is what happens when you go on a Saturday night. It's the weekend. It is the freaking weekend. Yeah. What's happening, people? How y'all What's feeling? How are you feeling? We're trying something different here. We are at a new night, new time. You know, figure we catch you when we catch you. Catch you all the time. Weekday, weeknight, we on you. We coming to get you. We coming to get you. We are here at Straight No Chaser Talk Radio where we only serve the hard stuff. Yeah. And it's a Saturday night. Folks having a good time, trying to. Thing, people are getting vaccinated, numbers going down, people feeling a little easier in that way. But you got craziness going on in other parts of the land. Coming to America, is out 33 years later. Shannon wasn't even born. Shannon wasn't even born when the first one came out. I don't know if she saw it. What did you see it on? Did you see it on on DVD? It was the first time you saw it, Shannon. I don't even think you were born when that came out. We have to tell you about it. So you have. I saw out. that when I saw Coming to America. <laughs> you saw the reruns. You saw it on TV when they had commercials. I you can't know. remember. I think I went to the movies to see it. I can't remember. In the theater? You, yeah. I, I wouldn't have think Shannon. Did you believe that? I don't think she's that 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 old. You know. Yeah, I saw that way. She can't be. Folks, we're welcome. We're welcome. Look, we're wel- we welcome you here. We're thankful that you're here. Use your words. Use your I'm words. Trying, I'm trying to use them. It's, 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 hey, it's it's Saturday. It's Saturday. It, anything's liable to happen. We should move this to really late, late night. So it'll be late night for y'all even. We have to have a late night version where you talk smooth. So what's been going on in the world? We got the chief. Yes, sir. The professor. Wait a minute. Are yeah. You put a professor. He's the professor chief. Professor M. He's a oh, Professor M. That's what I do. And we got banks. No, we got sophisticated. Oh, I didn't change it tonight. That's all right. That's all right. They know who you are. Them people know. They say, it's sophisticated Shannon, boy. Tell her to change that name. It's not right. So right. We, we had to get it straight. Folks, uh, uh, you know, what's going on? We got vaccinations all over the place. And while the vaccinations are coming, stupidity is, rise, is on the rise in Texas and other states. Texas talking about what did they say, Chief? That they said that they you don't need to wear a mask. Is that it? Was that it? They, they said forget it. We're just gonna go ahead and let people just go raw dog out here. I mean, what is going on? What is happening? I don't understand. I can't understand why that makes sense. Well, Matter of fact, go ahead, Chief. What are you gonna say? Well, before we go any further, one thing that we have to do is we have to say a special shout out to Semi So Real who is recovering and uh, sophisticated Shannon has been giving us updates on her condition. And if you're listening from your straight, no chaser family, we hope you heal up and rest up and get up and have some fun and come on back. Come, and on, come back. on back. Come on back. Um, me, tell us about also, it. before we get started, everyone that's watching, listening to us on Facebook, please share, share. to your folks. page. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell an enemy. I don't know, tell, people, but tell somebody. Tell somebody. Tell somebody, 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 tell somebody about what we're like, doing. <laughs> see if we can patch. See if we can patch up the relationship for you. Tell us about your your long lost friendships. You know, tell us about the time that you still mad at somebody. You can't remember what you mad about, but you can remember you still mad. Yeah, we will take all. But of you that. still mad. You still mad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the way it goes. You know, we can hold a grudge. We can hold a grudge. Man, chief. Yes, sir. Why did, what is what is going on? Can, can I find? Let me see if I can find something. Last week, y'all, some may have heard. Oh, wait. Hold on, Wendell. I'm sorry. Okay. We're just starting, everyone. We started a little late today, but we're going to be here with you about an hour. Thanks for checking in on us tonight, Ben. 
Yeah, we might, you know, we might be here longer, man. I don't know, man. It's, it's Saturday night. What's going on? I don't know what the sound of the West Coast. I'll tell you, it's not a damn thing going on over here in, in North Carolina. Nothing. Nothing. I'm just sitting here on a Saturday, chilling with my peeps, sitting out and figuring out what, what, what's wrong with the people in Texas and, and why are they so crazy. For those of you who, who may have been living under a rock and didn't hear, um, let me see. Here's, let me see if I can find a piece of something. Texas announced that it is lifting its mask mandate and that businesses will soon be able to operate at 100% capacity. What is that about? Well, well, let me let, let me ask you this first before we even get into that. Um, do you plan you you've received the shot, correct? Both. I finished my second dose uh, a week uh, a week ago. So okay. Dose a week. Shannon. Yes, I got my first shot done last weekend. Next one is on the twentieth, so I'm working on it. Okay, and, and I did too. Now, you know, I know that there there has been a host of comments regarding what Texas and Mississippi are doing in terms of opening up and so forth, and um, you know, pros and cons. And what I will say is. You, you're going to laugh at this then bad, but you know, I, I actually, I get it. I, you know, I understand, you, you know, it reminds me of remember back in Baltimore when we would get like, when we used to have real winters and you used right. to get like 300 feet of snow right. and you know, it was, you know, for the first day or so, everybody's good. Cause you have your, your cookies going and, and whatever was coming on television, you know, everybody was pretty much good to go. But as the days wore on and the time grew grew longer, you started getting antsy. And and some of that is what's going on here. Right. You know, because we my wife and I were talking the other day, saying, Man, I really, you know, I really miss the days of just being able to go somewhere and get a hamburger and sit out and have a drink and, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and so yeah. I think I think some of what you're seeing is is cabin fever on steroids. Because, um, you know, folks are, they, they're ready to get out. Now, now don't get me wrong. You've got some folks, you know, throughout this whole process. And, I'm, and I don't care what your background is, your education level or whatever, that have been like, you know what, this, this is crazy. I'm not getting, I'm not getting a shot. Uh, I'm not going to wear a mask or whatever, the, whatever their situation is. And, and that covers the spectrum of, of religions and races and so forth. You know, I, I had a conversation with a friend of mine back in, in Maryland. And this was when the pandemic was really hot and heavy. And he was like, man, I don't know about all this. This, this, I don't, I don't think it's real and all this other kind of stuff. So, you know, I've heard that and and I'm sure you all have heard it too, but I will say, I, I think that, you know, there's been so much, um, there's been so much, uh, you know, misinformation. Uh, there's been, there's been so many folks who, who on the other side of the coin that are just, you know, they're, they're terrified of this whole situation. Uh, and now that the vaccine is coming out, everyone's like, when is it coming out? And then they've been having some problems in places, rolling it out. You know, when you put it in a bag and shake it up, I, I think you have a recipe for how long before I can just, you know, go to 7-Eleven and get a Slurpee without having to have a helmet on my face. Well, yeah, I I get that, a helmet on my face. I, I get that, but I get know, that I, too. But we still have a pandemic out here. It's not over. I can see if Texas was like in the top ten of giving out their vaccination shots, but they're not. They're in the bottom six. Yeah, but but you know what? I think one of the things, that, and it's just like you know all those lessons that all of us learn throughout our lives. You know, when, you're, when your mom told you or your dad told you, all right, if you go over there and you touch that thing, it's hot. And you're like, yeah, yeah, I hear your dad. I hear you. I hear your mom. Mm-hmm, right, right, right. But one day you just got to go over there and touch it. And, and when you're looking at the skin peeling off your hand, like, oh, I guess it is hot. So for some people, they're going to have to touch the stove in order for, for them to understand that this thing is still percolating and it's still real, you know. I think this is this is the point now where folks are going to have to make some serious choices for themselves. Am I going to, you know, rush out and go to the circus next week or am I just going to wait 
and and let pe- more people get vaccinated and wait for the you know the CDC or whoever the governing health organization is in the jurisdiction say okay we're at a point now where you know medically we're we're good to go yeah i don't you know i i just don't know how you uh, i get it i don't know how people are still at the point where you know we've crossed the have we we've crossed the half million mark uh half million you know mark of folk who have passed on from from coronavirus and those are just the ones that we know um and and for folks to talk about oh it's still a hoax it's not real it's i i just you know we'll tell that to the families of those folks and you know unlike so many other things that come up you know we're here about certain things that some people don't believe in and some of us don't know uh anybody who's been affected by it but i i'd mm-hmm. venture to say that probably all of us the three of us here probably know somebody who has been uh, uh, affected by coronavirus and, and some who may have lost loved ones or or people just arm's length away. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know somebody, at least one somebody, who is who has uh, perished as a result of this um, of this disease. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's I mean, I don't know how you how you get to that point. And I get people are are tired, but there's something about the way that they they are doing it too it's almost like there's this this bravado attached to it you know it's like well you know if you weren't weak you'd be okay it wouldn't be a big deal and i get it i get businesses have to have to function but if you open business and kill you <laughs> and killing off your 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 people who trying to support you i mean you want to wait and make sure that you know it's as safe as possible especially if you care about the folks well well you know i i think uh, one of the things that that perhaps people should consider, and I'm talking about the the various officials across the country, if you're going to do that, if you're going to open up, at least in that in that same vein, you know, recommend to people you have to make the choice of whether or not you're going to come out and go to these places if they're going to insist on opening. Um, I think it's always incumbent in your messaging to to let people know you know there's still a pandemic out here people are still dying from it people are still getting infected you know now obviously the rates are going down and in some places very significantly but i i I just think that you know they they just really need to remind people that okay yep the um the the hamburger hamlet is open they're open 24 hours a day but just remember there is still a thing going on here and if you're going to come out, uh, you need to really think about whether you're going to actually try to sit in that restaurant at full capacity or whether you're going to order some carry out and take it home and eat it among your family and friends or, you know, whatever the case may be. I, I think if they're going to insist on doing that, at least do that. That's my humble opinion. I agree. It, it, boils, it boils down to common sense pretty yeah. much. Because we have what we just hit the million mark of deaths from COVID, so for people to say it's not a real deal, that's kind of hard to believe. What's going on? Or are the hospitals just saying it's COVID to get the money? So you're, yeah, I want to live to see about fifty more years. Same thing Ben just said. Ben said he want to live to see about fifty more years, yeah, not and, messing with COVID. Yeah, and 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 you know, and I think. Well, it, it's just interesting to me that you have you have a lot of different dynamics going on with this vaccine. Of course, you know, you have members of the African-American community, some members who have very fond memories of the Tuskegee experiment uh, right. going on. Then you have. Uh, and so for those reasons, they're skeptical, uh, skeptical about getting the virus. And, and some have chosen not to. Uh, you have other folks that that don't believe that this COVID thing is real for them. Right. Getting a virus. You have other folks that feel like I'm just going to wait and see if Shannon's face falls off after she gets hers and they're not getting the virus, the virus shot. So you've got to, and, and I've just scratched the surface in terms of explanations people are giving for not, you know, wanting to get the shot or they're waiting and so forth and so on. But, so, uh, but do you, Mike, do you think it's more because Texas is a red state and they don't believe in the virus? Well, you know, I, I, I can't answer that because, you know, I don't know what the motivation is. But I, what I can say is that 
they've decided that they're going to go go full steam on this and reopening everything. And 